Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you're new. My name is Alex and I do a lot of fashion and lifestyle content here on YouTube. So some of you know that I currently live in Italy and you guys over here, we are still having such a warm weather, hence my little tank top today because it's so hot. I'm almost sweating, but I don't want to turn on the AC because otherwise it's going to be too loud. So yeah, it's pretty warm here. I am craving the weather change, but it's not happening yet. I'm very grateful and happy to be living in a warm country because I do love warm weather, but there's just one period of the year, which is fall, when I'm craving that like cool air and that change of like temperature and then like, I don't know, I just love fall. So I'm super ready for it. And with that being said, I am so, so stoked you guys to be partnered up with Uniqlo for this portion of the video. They have been kind enough to send me some of the new collection pieces. And I really want to get this video up as soon as possible because you guys, these colors are just perfection. And I know that sometimes when they launch such pretty colors, they sell out pretty quickly. So without further ado, let me show you guys the first item. I only have two pieces, but they are quite like a staple, very like basic pieces that are really crucial for transitional weather. That's why I chose them. So don't worry, it is only two items, but they are really, really good. So starting off with, I didn't know which one I wanted to start with, but starting off, with this little cutie you guys if you don't know anything about uniqlo i don't really have time to give you a full like rundown of the brand but one of their like most famous designs are their down jackets and a puffer little vests and just coats really light and fluffy base layers if you want additional warmth an extra layer in really really cold months but for transitional weather like we are in right now these are just the perfect 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 jackets vests that you can imagine because they give you just enough warmth and then of course you can just bring them further on to winter and layer them underneath coats but you guys let's talk about this new line and this new like finish not really metallic but kind of metallic it's like a very subtle shine and you guys look at this color this color is just perfection it is literally my favorite favorite color for coats and jackets it's so like fresh and just like cozy at the same time but it's not like too dark and dull this is just the perfect perfect color for me it works really well with black blue and brown as well so you can pair this with any bottoms pretty much i am going to be showing you guys as i talk the way i want to style this so the first way i'm gonna wear this is probably with just a pair of baggy jeans and some sort of a crop top underneath whether it's short sleeve or long sleeve depending on how cold outside it is but i just love wearing vests with cropped tops because it's just a cute way to accessorize and bring some warmth but still be able to wear a crop top obviously you can wear this with anything else with a normal top with a sweater underneath with a turtleneck when it's even colder with like a light sweater with short sleeve t-shirt like you can wear this with anything and everything actually has a little bit of a a-line cut which is quite particular and what i loved about it the most besides the fabric and also it's a little bit longer in the back i find that this one because it has this little a-line is a little bit more like i don't know more fashionable less sporty i don't know if that makes sense but i just really like that detail also it has this little elastic uh, on the bottom rim so you can definitely cinch it in but yeah i am obsessed with this one you guys you have to check it out seriously i know how it goes with uniqlo when they launch items like this that are so pretty like they sell out super quickly and then the other item that i picked up is this beautiful super soft cardigan it has a belt it has two pockets on sides obviously right now as i'm holding it it doesn't look like much because it's really difficult to showcase a cardigan like so but uh you are going to see it as i'm talking to you guys i'm gonna put up on the screen how i styled it but i 
am obsessed with the color it's so well made as most of uh, uniqlo products that's why i really like the brand it's a perfect place to go to if you want to build a capsule wardrobe and you want to get some like basic staples and pieces that are classic and they're gonna last a long time but they're good quality and they are pretty pretty affordable but yeah i love the collar it is doubled up so it has like a nice firm collar which is super sleek on the outside let me just try it on here i am sitting down so it's not really representative but i'm gonna show you just what i mean you guys this is so soft and it's also super smooth as well so it's not going to bubble up and look like old and worn out very quickly i can tell immediately just by touching the fabric it's not like a sensitive fabric obviously i have styled this in many different ways as you are seeing on the screen i plan to wear this with jeans and like camisoles or bodysuits i love a good bodysuit pair of jeans and a cardigan on top it's such a classic but really cute and like laid-back outfit you plan to wear this as well with long flowy white pants and again like a cute crop top and a pair of heels for like dinners and going out because it's such an easy breezy little outfit add-on layering piece that just makes any outfit look so much more put together and sleek when it comes to sizing i got this one in size small i realized that i maybe would have preferred it to be a little oversized i love this look as well i am going to wear it a ton nonetheless anyways that would be all from uniqlo you guys i am obsessed i love the new collection especially the outerwear pieces also i will be linking everything as usual with my measurements and all the sizes and everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video and we can go back to the vlog welcome back to the vlog welcome back to my channel i haven't vlogged in a while i think it's been like three weeks since i vlogged last time i'm on the way to the nail salon this morning i desperately need to fix my nails they have grown so long it's been like four weeks i think since i did my nails so they're pretty no i think three weeks but anyways they're pretty long and they are annoying me so much because these are not like my real nails because I just wanted a little longer nails for the summer and I honestly do not like the feeling of them I prefer when my own nails grow longer like when you just do like the gel polish and then your own nails they just grow because they have like the protection on top so I'm going to get back to that I think I have enough length to just have like my own nails now the camera is good obviously i did not film anything from the salon because i left my camera in the car and i don't really like filming with my phone because it's like super zoomed in but i am back in the car i'm going to go and get myself some lunch i'm craving some ramen noodles and my favorite place is actually uh just next door to the store that i need to go to the asian like uh, grocery store supermarket that i want to go to because i want to get some asian like pantry staples for just like cooking at home i also want to try a couple of recipes i saw this super quick and delicious looking recipe for cabbage not really the cutest vegetable of all but i really like cabbage and it's really good for you so i found this recipe and i want to try it but i don't have like pretty much any of the ingredients besides cabbage so i need to stop to that store that was kind of the plan since i'm already in the city and right next door to that store there is my favorite ramen restaurant so i'm gonna go ahead and try and get myself a bowl of ramen noodles because i haven't had those in a really long time and I'm really craving them. Oh yeah, let me show you guys my new nails. I went for this super pretty, like natural, almost like transparent color. Hi, 
you guys I know they're in theory super cute but I hated this open market that is happening here in the street like every I don't remember I think it was where every uh, Monday and Thursday and I used to hate it so much because they would close up the whole street so basically like you wouldn't have anywhere to park it was super difficult to park and it was so messy and just like busy so I just remember I hated this but I guess it's cute for like people that are not living in this area to come and have like fresh fruits and veg and whatnot but I think no one who lives here actually really likes it because also they come and sell a lot of like random things it's not just like a green market but yeah it feels good to be walking around my old neighborhood I am entering the Chinatown so this is where the noodle place is and I'm gonna show you guys when we get there I'm back home and it's been a couple of hours. I am ready to do a little workout. I am desperately in a need of like a little yoga flow. I do not remember when was the last time I did a workout because just my summer was so busy and I don't know, I had guests over and it was a little bit over the place. I was traveling, all that stuff. So I didn't really want to like stress myself and yeah just worry about that it's september fall is almost here and i really need to like start fresh get on the schedule and like get serious about my health and fitness uh, so before i go ahead and do my little workout i just wanted to quickly show you guys what i got at the asian grocery store i already put some stuff in the freezer that was frozen so i got a bunch of like dumplings i love getting already made dumplings and dim sum they're so easy and they're such a good quick little snack or a starter so yeah i just love having those on hand so i got a bunch of those like my usual favorites and uh over here i just have a bunch of like uh, asian pantry stuff that i am missing because i currently have nothing i also ordered a bunch of like spices and stuff on amazon so some of the things i got are just like basic things like chili bean sauce then i have a hoisin sauce which i like to use for my sichuan chicken recipe then i got some oyster sauce some dark soy sauce i didn't have i have a regular one then i also got uh, some Chinese like vinegar. I don't really know. I think I picked up the wrong one <laughs> I just realized that I think I picked up the wrong vinegar I don't know if this is the one that I need and then I also got some sesame seeds like the black and the white ones I use them on everything. I just like toss them on everything then in this Asian store They don't just have like Asian groceries. They have like all sorts of like ethnic groceries I mean non-italian food. Let's just put it away so I also got some Tilda Pure Basmati rice. I love this rice. This is like my favorite brand. And then I got a bunch of original like Mexican tortillas. These are really hard to find like in regular stores because like Mexican cuisine is not so popular and common here in Italy. Apart from like guacamole and chips, like I don't know. I feel like people don't really make so much of like Mexican dishes. I barely ever find like cilantro in the stores so that tells you uh, but yeah I found these and there are so many of them I will have to look how to store them once I open them because yeah it's like a huge pack and I don't think I'm going to go through them so quickly 
And then I also got a bunch of like fresh cilantro, which is already in the fridge and it's not really interesting to show you guys. But yeah, this is my little Asian grocery store haul. I'm going to go upstairs, pour myself some water and a try and do a nice little yoga workout. So I get back into shape and I get back to feeling good about myself. You guys, I have to show you this. Like Watson is so funny. I usually have like a little bowl of water here and I took it away because it was raining yesterday night so the bowl was full of like some gunk and stuff so I wanted to clean it and I spilled some water here and he's just drinking the water from f the floor like it's so sad it makes me so sad it's like he doesn't have water it's just that he got used to drink this like from this spot like outside why are you doing that you have a fresh bowl of water inside you are just inside. Why are you doing that? I brought my computer outside, you guys. I'm just enjoying so much like this weather and I'm kind of like wishing for it to be a little bit colder because I do like fall weather. I already raved about that in my previous like uh, haul that I did for you guys. But then I'm also super happy that I live in Italy and that it's super sunny and warm all throughout September. Oh no, you guys, they've seen a cat and now they ran away and we actually have to go. I literally need to leave in like two minutes and I lost the dogs. <laughs> Yago! Watson! Come! Come back! Watson! Good boy! Where's Yago? Good boy! Where's Yago? trying to balance the camera on my steering wheel because um, I can't really like mount it now on the windshield but I am in front of the groomers I dropped off the dogs at the groomers I was running a little bit late I love this place because they are really smart with like um, how they book appointments they always leave a little buffer between the appointments so they're not like booking them back to back which a lot of places do and then it's a huge deal like if you are a little bit late and I don't know I just hate having that pressure because sometimes it really like things can happen and it's really difficult to book groomers appointments usually they're like fully booked I think that business is definitely underrated like I don't know many people that are into that business but whenever I try to book an appointment doesn't matter which city where I live where I visit like whenever I try to book an appointment for my dogs it takes like weeks to get in and it's not just like the popular salons or anything it's like anywhere but yeah uh, I guess I'm trying to say I love this place because they are not like super tightly booked so uh, if you're late and I'm very often a little bit late it's not a big deal so huge shout out to them and I dropped them off I have around three hours before I need to pick them up initially I wanted to go straight to the mall because my favorite shopping mall is only like 12-15 minutes away from this place but it is that time of the month for me and I'm not feeling the best I'm kind of like crampy and I just don't feel the best so I think I might wait and do that tomorrow I have to go to the mall because I am actually desperately needing some um, outfit like an outfit for a wedding and I know it's ridiculous but I have a wedding this weekend and I do not have the outfit because I thought I had it I thought I had like a couple of dresses that would be okay for the occasion but then the weather it's not going to the, be the best over there we're going to the mountains it's gonna be like a mountain wedding it's September so yeah it seems like it's going to be a little bit colder over there and it might rain as well so that changed a lot my plan so I'm kind of in a pickle because I need an outfit I have a cute little corset top that I got this past Christmas and I haven't worn it yet it's so pretty it's like a really nice blue color so the model on the picture like 
when I bought it, like at the place where I bought it, like it was styled with a skirt, but it was also styled with like a pair of like super pretty, like straight leg, um, flowy, like blue pants. And I really liked the combo of like lighter blue and the darker blue corset. It was just so stunning. So I have something like that in mind. I don't know if I'm gonna find the exact same thing because obviously yeah it was just like a picture and I don't know where they got the pants it was probably from the same atelier but I cannot go there because it's in Milan and I just don't want to go to the city so I'm gonna go to the mall I now that I'm thinking about it and talking out loud I'm thinking that maybe it's better if I go today because do I really want to wait and leave everything for the last day? Wedding is on Saturday and I only have like one more day after to pack and wrap things up. So yeah, it's going to be pretty tight. I don't know. I also have a little bit of work to do at home. I, I don't really know. I don't feel like the best and I just feel like I'm going to get super tired and fatigued in the mall. Also, I am super excited to go to the mall because you guys, drum roll. They opened a Starbucks. They opened a Starbucks in my mall, which is like super close to me and I am so excited. I know I'm super basic, but you guys, I love Starbucks and I know most of you would think like, you, oh my God, you're in Italy, like you have the best coffee there. But if you are used to having like longer, like larger size of coffee, like you would not enjoy the coffee in Europe in general, like in Italy and France especially, like, the coffees here are just not like the other coffees like they like their coffee specific ways like they have few coffee drinks available and none of them is like what i actually really like like a longer coffee i really enjoy cold brew i love iced lattes i like my coffee like cold and long it's just very difficult to find out here so i really like my starbucks i also love their blueberry muffin it's my favorite thing ever i'm craving it so badly so so i'm pretty excited to go to the mall and check out the new starbucks and get my coffee and my blueberry muffin um time to go and pick up the doggies i just got the call they are ready i need to go pick them up uh, you guys, I have been pretty much glued to the computer the whole time since I got back home because I had to just finish up the work that I was doing, like some editing. I just changed super quickly because it's actually pretty, pretty warm today. I'm wearing like a completely summery outfit and I've just put on these little slides. I'm gonna grab my bag and let's go and pick up the dogs. You can see inside, like the grooming room, you can see all the dogs inside. guys i'm just sometimes so terrible at this at vlogging i just had my lunch and i was like oh let me show you guys what i'm having for lunch and then i realized i left my camera in the car so i had my lunch and i just came to pick up the camera i was starving you guys because i didn't have breakfast I now my battery died so what was i saying you guys this is so dangerous when you go shopping grocery shopping when you're hungry I got this focaccia bread like, and I just love them. Like I found this brand, it's called like The Wizard and I just love their focaccia. So I bought like the regular one with plain focaccia and I also got this one like with onions. You guys, this is so good. I clearly like devoured half of it while I was making myself lunch. So we're gonna pack this up and put it away. I it would be good to have a cameraman now to follow me around the kitchen. But yeah, I was just saying how I hate when I have 
the kitchen messy right after I had um, cleaners here because they just leave everything so nice and tidy. So I'm gonna put everything away. You guys, I think I might be having like a mild lactose intolerance. I don't know if that's like a thing or not. Probably someone's gonna say like, oh, it's not a thing, but I do feel like every time I have like regular milk in my coffee, it just doesn't sit right with my stomach. I feel like nausea, I get like cramps. I just don't feel like the best. I usually actually buy like uh, lactose-free milk for my coffees, but I ran out of it and then we had like a, a pack of like regular milk. So I just opened that, but I feel like it's really just not sitting right with me. So I took one of these while I was in the store. I just like these. These are the Starbucks like pre-made lattes. This one is my favorite. It's the lactose-free latte. Oh no. I hate this little straw. Mm. They're so good. To be fair, it doesn't even taste like coffee. <laughs> this one really tastes like almost like chocolate milk. It's like really weird lighting. Weird lighting and a weird angle. Let me put you guys over here. Uh, I'm just gonna like touch up my makeup really quickly. And also there's a lot of echo because it's a huge bathroom that is empty. So yeah, I'm just gonna touch up my makeup like super quickly because I am about to head out and go to the mall finally. I need to get a couple of things. I have no idea what's going on with my like cheeks. I'm getting like two hollow areas over here, like, but super low, just like around here, which I kind of never had before. Uh, I guess we're all aging. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's a very weird spot to get like hollow. I feel like I might be like having bad like sleep cycle. Like I'm not getting enough sleep. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You guys, I ordered so much new makeup. Well, not so much, like three products. But for me, that's like so much because I don't really buy makeup anymore. I used to be obsessed and spend so much money on makeup. And then I would just hoard it and like never use it because I just have learned that I'm not really like... I'm not a makeup artist. I do not experiment with my makeup. I do not create like crazy looks. So I do not need to have an extensive collection of makeup. I wear mostly like neutral eyeshadows, super neutral makeup, sometimes just a little bit more like dark if I want to go like, I don't know, super smoky for the evenings. But like other than that, I do not wear a lot of makeup and I don't need to have that much. But with that being said, I also wanted to update my collection because I feel like most of my products are pretty old, like, like circa 2018, I don't know, like five years ago, I would say. And that's like when I discovered like most of the good makeup and I kind of like stopped there. I need an update and I wanted to get some new stuff. So I got myself a new blush. I'm also going to pick up today a new bronzer that I saw that looks really, really good because uh, I like a cream bronzer because I am really enjoying the Fenty Beauty stick, like um, the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Mocha 03. I really like this one, but I have to be honest, it does not blend the greatest into like my bare skin. And I really like sometimes to just apply like some concealer and some bronzer, like a cream bronzer on the perimeter of my face to give some warmth and the finition, like more like shadows. But I've noticed that this product like does not blend so well with like no foundation underneath. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just like my technique or my skin, but it just doesn't look so good on me. So I wanna try another like cream bronzer product. And I watched this video from 
uh, I believe Alana Davidson is her name uh, on YouTube here I'm gonna put the picture on the screen like this thumbnail like when I saw it I was like I need to watch this makeup tutorial and I kind of want to get all of the products that she used I'm not gonna get all of them obviously because I don't really need all that stuff but I do want to get the cream bronzer I ordered both a cream and powder blush that she used and I want to get the cream bronzer today I also want to check out the Chanel little foundation that she used it looks so good I'm currently loving my Dior backstage whatever it's the name like backstage something Dior backstage face and body foundation I am loving this product it is like so so nice and skin like it has a little bit more coverage than the MAC face and body in my opinion but like very similar texture I don't know I just love how this one feels it's super like watery and like easy to work with but then it sets like completely like dry and like sinks into the skin it looks really like your skin um, but I don't know I'm always looking for something else something more so I want to try and see how do I like that Chanel one that she used and this is my little outfit for the mall I just put on a pair of jeans because sometimes it gets cold like with all the AC and everything and I have like the same little tank top and I'm good to go so I pulled up in front of the mall also how cute are these sunglasses I am on a kick with like supermarket like drugstore bought sunglasses the actually my sister got them first in belgrade we were together and then i went to the same drugstore here in milan and i found them it was the last pair and like the glass is really good quality because this drugstore like they have really nice quality sunglasses like they made them it's like their own brand so yeah they have like old uh sun protection and everything like all the certificates came with the with the sunglasses so they're really really good and they're so well made like super sturdy and it just goes to say like how you don't really need to spend a lot on everything like if you like a trend and you just want to try it out you want to see how you feel about it like go ahead and find like a cute dupe for like a lot less money than like a designer or brand name because it might just be like a very quick passing trend that you don't even like that much and it's stupid to waste a lot of money but i feel like i really like this type of sunglasses so i might get myself like a nicer pair once these like break or i lose them or they get scratched or something happens if nothing happens to them if they hold up well i probably won't get any like nicer uh but i really like this like shape i like smaller glasses currently and i like that these are like small but they're not like small here they're not too narrow because sometimes they're like um very very narrow here and that looks weird on my face because i do not have like particularly big face but i don't have like a super narrow face i don't know how to explain but i don't know i just like like when sunglasses are a bit wider here so i really like these i think they're super cute okay enough about my sunglasses let's go inside it's getting hot in the car I feel like I always parked at number eight. Every time when I'm here and I look up where I parked, it's number eight. It's we got stuff for Aperol spritz. You guys, I'm back home. To be totally honest with you guys, I am craving a little drink. So I just picked up a couple of little bottles of Prosecco. I love these little bottles because when I open a full uh, bottle, like usually we just waste it because like, I don't know, no one drinks it and then it's too big and the bubbles don't stay long. So I really like these. I'm just gonna use one of these glasses because I don't really have like a nice wine glass here. I really have nice wine glasses here in this apartment so these will do i just got these off of amazon because i needed like some big glasses for my coffees and water i also picked up a salad because we are going to have pizza tonight we decided we're gonna have a pizza night because we're just like too tired to make anything and i usually like to add like a little salad on a side just to feel a little better for eating pizza for dinner 
to so okay so i have eyes so i want to grab aperol and also i need a shot where is it here it is i don't know if this is like too small okay i'm gonna grab aperol and then we'll see we're gonna wing it from there now i also want to show you guys like what i got at sephora i just got like two things but i want to show you anyways i bought myself an orange because Aperol spray is really nice with an orange. I'm gonna wash this up because it's not organic and I like to wash my fruit and veg before it goes into my drink or food. This knife is like a pizza knife, but it will do because my other knife is dirty. I'm gonna do two slices. And you have the instructions for Aperol spritz in the back of the bottle of Aperol, which is always handy. It's like the best bulletproof recipe. So to three parts Prosecco, two parts Aperol, one part soda. Okay. My little Aperol spritz is ready. Mm. Mm. Truly bulletproof your recipe. Okay, so let me just quickly show you guys what I got at Sephora. It's a super small little haul. I got three products. So I went out and got myself the Chanel Le Beige Touche de Tint Water Fresh Complexion Touch. Um, I'm pretty sure I just butchered the French part. Anyways, I saw Alana using this also in the video that I mentioned and I was very, very intrigued by it. She said it's like the best thing ever. She swore by it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up as well. It comes with this cute little weird brush. It's like a size of a tiny lipstick and then it has this rounded tapered finish and the bristles are super like thick and dense this is so interesting it almost looks like something that you would want to like pop like it feels like you should pull it out but no that's like just the way the brush is so i went out and i got not one but two foundations i'm pretty sure that she also used a mix of two in her video but I ended up buying two just because I was really torn between the shades. Like the uh, Silsa Sosa, she told me that B40 is a little bit more like peachy, where B30 that she was convincing me I should get is more neutral toned. But like when I swatched it on the back of my hand, like it was a little bit too light. So I went ahead and I got B60 as well, which is like darker deeper shade and it's actually really nice she told me i could even like contour with it as well and i can also mix the two and mix and make like a shade that i need depending on like how tanned i am so i really like that idea you guys how cool is this product i haven't seen it before but it's like water with little pearls inside of foundation uh i'm pretty sure it's not like just pure water at least i hope it's not because it's a little pricey for water with foundation but i think it's like also i don't know how you're supposed to apply this are you supposed to apply it like straight like so on the face and then back it in with the brush let's see okay moral of the story is do not trust uh sales associates at sephora because this is way too light for me like literally just erased me like a white beard b60 is probably gonna be like super dark whatever every time i come here and i look at the sky 
and sit here outside. I'm just feeling so happy to be here. <laughs> Manja. This pizza is really good. I don't know why you are so reluctant. I'm not Look reluctant. Look at the crust. I'm not reluctant at all. I just like it's it. It's like super crispy. And I think they probably use better ingredients. 